Conference now for a dozen years. So Oregon leads the all-time series 19 to 10. And Colorado's won the last two meetings. Our officials are Lisa Jones, Kyle Bacon, and Stacy Blow. And here come the Oregon Ducks. Oregon eight and two at home. Uncharacteristic six and two, or rather two and six in conference play. Ben Sluton out of chance Gray. What a battle it's going to be between Gray and Sherrod today. And now here's Priscilla Williams. Back to Van Sluton against Foreman. Basham against Quay Miller. Colorado Sluton. doing a nice job of taking away that inside pass. Van Sluton with a nice little pull up there late in the shot clock. Van Sluton. What a presence she's been for their team. Well, Breaking nice for her, her to be back on the floor, absolutely. Right side, Sherrod. Looks to Von Lee. Instead, takes the ball. Dish underneath the Miller reverse layup. Doesn't go. Filipina Che altered that shot. Here comes Priscilla Williams and the Ducks with a 2-0 lead on Colorado. Well, I can see the size right off the bat. Altering that shot right there. Obviously, Che just a great job of using a presence and shot blocking material. Great picked up by Foreman. Around the Basham pick. Comes the mid-range, doesn't go, and Quay Miller the rebound. You know, talking with Coach Payne, it was going to be how they execute versus this Oregon zone. They haven't seen a lot of zone, and that's great penetration and extra kick. The drive the dish. Vonley gets fouled by either Basham or Che. It is Kennedy Basham. Limit their turnovers. And really, I think rebounding on both ends of the floor is going to Neither team a particularly good rebounding team. Vonley's second free throw is good. Yeah, again, I think it's that the post presence, the size that Oregon has. Vonley takes it away. Up the pass from Van Sluten at the other end. Sherrod all the way to run out the layup and in. And Colorado has their first lead. Well, those live ball turnovers in the transition. Sarah Rose Smith checks in for Colorado. Ula Chamberlain for the Ducks. Kennedy Basham and Quay Miller out, respectively. A turnaround shot by Filipina Che over Vonley. She has her first bucket. Yeah, and Che has got to look to go to the rim as soon as she gets the touch. They're not double teaming at this point and going one on one. She's got an advantage, and there's a block right there. Put back up by Vonley. It rattles out. Earlier, it was a nice give and go between Vonley and Nolan. 18 footer by Vonley. And Colorado, two for eight overall, and they missed their only three point attempt. Gray rejects the screen, picked up again by Sherrod. Van Sluten hands it off to Ula Chamberlain. Back it up, lobs it over Smith. Nice little scoop to the hoop by Van Sluten. Making her presence known early after missing that game on Friday. The concussion protocol. Sherrod, spin move against Chance Gray. Get it back outside. Timia Sadler drives it against Priscilla Williams. Back now to Sherrod. The Ducks doing a nice job of clogging up the middle when the guards do penetrate to the paint. 17 footer is good. That's free to Foreman. Foreman yeah. from the floor, averaging 45%. And you cannot go under a screen on Foreman. She will pull the trigger. Got to contest. Go learn as you go in this game, right? We'll see if the Ducks <laughs> learn that lesson. Van Sluten all the way. Nice move down the right angle with reverse layup. She's got six. Well, I like the adjustment that she made. You know, really short on that perimeter jumper instead, and taking it to the rack. Back and forth we go. Lead change after lead change. They exchange buckets. It's 8 7 Oregon. Bonley posting up on Che. That's a battle tonight, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Tamia Sadler all the way. Rejected by Che. Bonley comes back with it. And here's Jalen Sherrod. Follow away and she stops. Follow a shot from eight is good. Colorado. Four offense rebounds to the Ducks. One. They have four second chance points to the Ducks. None. Yeah, and I, I really want to keep a tra keep track of that rebound total. 9-4 in favor of Colorado. And there's a turnover on the Ducks. Back against the zone to Sadler, who drives it between a couple of players. Nice bounce pass to Whitaker, who puts it up and in. Charlotte Whitaker. Well, so far the size and the post play inside. In favor of the Ducks, doing a nice job of altering shots. It's just penetrations, and against a very quality Colorado squad, you just can't afford that. Sarah Rambis, the true freshman from Michigan, comes in for Colorado, replacing Kennedy Basham. And 13-8 Colorado. Grace Van Sloot needed it, didn't get the mid-range. Rebound Quay Miller. 
Here comes Sharaj, shovel it back to Nolan. Back to Quay. It's worked hard to expand her game, Clay Miller has. Pass to Tinder, go inside. Here's Vonley. Get it back outside. Miller wanted to shoot the corner three there, so it puts it up to try to beat the shot clock. Doesn't go. All right, Colorado. Six of 16 from the floor. Ducks 4 of 13. Ducks 0 of 6 from three-point range. Colorado 0 for 1. The Ducks, you're pretty happy with their defensive presence other than the rebounding in that first quarter, but it's it's all about the offensive end right now. It's got to get quality shots, not turn the basketball over. Seven offensive rebounds now for Colorado and Jalen Sherrod. Vonley, another poor entry pass, this time from Van Sluten. All the way down the right of the lane, lay it up. Sadler doesn't go. Nice to see Tamia back in the game after the earlier rolled ankle. Another offensive rebound for Colorado. They're out rebounding the Ducks. 20 to 10 in this game. And dominating on the offensive glass. Nolan guns it for three. Swish, Matty Nolan. Chance Gray. Gray takes it all the way in. Left hand layup rattles out. Rebound pulled down by Weta. That's a nice take, just unable to get it to go. And nice extra pass there by Weta. Picking up Hamill, driving down the left base. Van Sluten in the tall trees didn't go. And here comes Tamiya Sadler. Sadler. Yeah, four on two. And Vonley puts it up and in. Time for the Ducks. Yeah, Ducks lucky not to give up. The transition bucket there off the turnover. Che from the high post. Blocked by Vonley, but how about Che? All right, we talked about J.R. Payne. How about this being reunion week <laughs> for you? At Gonzaga, you guys were all on the same staff. We were all together a while ago, but uh, that was a lot. Nolan gets it back to Weta. That was Sarah, Mos Sarah Smith back to Weta. Don't talk about hair and losing hair, okay? <laughs> Come on, watch it. Uh, another turnover for the Ducks. That's eight. Sadler accelerates down the left angle and scoops it up. Turnovers just plaguing the Ducks. Priscilla Williams thought about shooting the three. She struggled out there from three-point range this year. Jay's eight-footer doesn't go, and Sarah Rose Smith six steals for Colorado. They average more than ten a game, second in the Pac-12. Whitaker, left-hand shot over Che. Ducks haven't scored a field goal in almost 13 minutes. Yeah. And there's a blocking foul. Colorado, five of their last seven from the field because of the type of shots that they're getting. I mean, they're getting points in the paint off turnovers, transition buckets, and extra passes like that. Good ball movement by Colorado. The second in the Pac-12 and 19 assists per game. And Colorado on a 6-0 run over the last minute and a half. Sadler accelerates in, the drive, the kick, and the three-pointer rattle. Two three-pointers while wearing one shoe. I kid you not. I love it. Shot for Gray doesn't go. 29-10 Colorado. That game ended up going quadruple overtime. Wow. Nelson missed a shot from just inside the half-court line, but it will be forever remembered as uh, the game where he hit two three-pointers while wearing one shoe. Nine to shoot, and Weta hits. And the scoring drought for Oregon continues. Almost four minutes and 30 seconds. And it's been about 16 minutes since their last field goal. Gray around the Basham pick, will spin move into the lane. Shot doesn't go, she gets fouled. And looking like they're going to go the entire quarter without a field goal. It's Gray hits it. Got a whistle on a foul. And they're going to be against Whitaker. It I think is. It's her second this trip down the floor. Oregon still without a field goal in this quarter, and they do have a shot here. After a loose ball foul. Fashion to Chance Gray. Outside to Ula Chamberlain. They need it. It ain't happening. Rebound Vonley. Four seconds. Outlet to Sherrod. Ahead to Sadler. Sadler puts it up for 15. It doesn't go. But Colorado, kind of sloppy play on both sides, but particular for Oregon. 31-11. Colorado leads. Get back to what they do. They've got to get post touches and use their length. Jay set the ball screen, and now she backs down. Kick it back outside to Chance Gray. Back inside to Filipina Che. DeBasham coming down the lane. 
And now Priscilla Williams. Good defense put up by Colorado. Van Sluten with a hand in her face. Now to Basham. Backing down Foreman and rolls it home. And the best offensive possession that they've had of the game. They got side top, side movement, ball touches by multiple people, and a good finish in the post. Let's see if they can continue that. Basham with her first bucket. Sherrod in deep. Back outside. Foreman guns it for three. Rebound, Chance Gray fumbles it and collects it. Fakes right, went left. Good crossover move. The Ducks turn it over again. That's their 11th turnover. All the way, Sherrod drives it in. Shot rejected. Put back up and in by Von. Well, I'll tell you, a great, again, defensive play by Van Sluten getting the block. But, again, nobody for Oregon. And there's a good take by Van Sluten, too. To the cutter, Sherrod. Three-pointer, Maddie Nolan. Would have been her third of the game. It rattled out. Filipina Che comes down for the rebound. That's her sixth of the game, along with four points. Sherrod does such a good job of getting in the paint and locating people, which I think she's really got to step up and put this team on her shoulders and look to score. Six minutes in the first quarter. Second free throw, good for Che. 33-16, Colorado. They live by 20 at halftime. Sherrod around a Von Lee pick. And deep to Quay. Another reverse layup. Old fashioned and one. If you're the Ducks, the very least, you want to win this half after struggling so mightily and getting just three points all on free throws in the second quarter. Yeah, get into a flow, get back to what you do. There's a foul. Well, Gray told you two for four at the line in this one. Chance play. It's just her third point. I'm kind of struggling at the line in this one. Three for six. Couldn't capitalize. Sadler in deep. Try to dish it off, but Colorado turns it over. Their sixth turnover of the game. Colorado's gone two minutes without scoring. A Euro step by Chance Gray. And it is. Last year, 87%. Again, this year, 83%. Inside to Weta. Shovel to Vonley. Eight footer doesn't go. Good pass by Kendall Weta. <laughs> that was a smart look. Almost a touch pass. Underhand pass. Had it right in the mid range. Gray splits the defenders, puts it up, draws a photo. Has done what they've done without a single five star coming their way. I would think so, and it's the type of kid that they recruit. Roll your sleeves up, you know, and get get to work, and that's just kind of the mentality of that staff. Gray with six points now, all on free throws after making both of them. Three pointer to me, a Sadler, it rattles in. Colorado. Colorado just getting any shot they want. And Luton shot blocks. Three fouls for Frieda Foreman. Three other players with two fouls each. Under five to go here in the third quarter. Williams fall away. Shot is good. Priscilla Williams. There's a takeaway by Ula Chamberlain. Good defense. Uh, the walk-on Chamberlain. He's a student here at Oregon last year. After having played college basketball previously, ball batted away from Van Sluten. Tamia Sadler got her hand on it. Kendall Weta taking a run. Nice pass to Sarah Rose Smith. Lay it up and in. Into a game and just a bad angle entry pass by the Ducks. And we've seen that multiple times where Colorado just doing a good job. And there's a good little pullout. Best conference in the country. Mm -hmm. No doubt. So, again, points off turnovers, 20-1 to 1 in favor of Colorado. Second chance points, 9-2. to 2. Talking about an offensive rebound being akin to a turnover for the other team. The com com combined there is 29-3 to 3 in favor of Colorado. Van Sluten had that rebound, brought it down, and she just swiped it away. Miller's 14-footer is good. Back to Miller on the pick and roll. Three pointer by Van Sluten. Not good. Over two in this game. Che puts it back up and in. Second chance points for the Ducks. Just their second second chance bucket of the game. Well, a great play by Che. She was on the deck, got up, got the offensive board. She has six on the night. Whitaker beats the clock. And Colorado gets a bucket at the end of the quarter to pull ahead 45 26. Colorado at 45, normally about almost 79 points a game. So they're doing a decent job defensively. It's just an offensive flow issue and getting people involved and getting good shots. Inside to Vonley. And a foul going to be called. If it's Basham, it's her fourth. It is. And in a sprint, Vonley was second on the team to Jalen Sherrod. 
I mean, as a post player, I mean, yeah. you don't see that very often. Mm -hmm. And Aaronick can dunk with either hand. I'd love to see her do it in a game. Well, the Chamberlain, not a chance, Gray. Ben Sluton's 15 footer is good. She's got 10 points. First duck into double figures. Bonley turnaround shot against Basham gets it to go. Bonley's got a dozen points. That tops all scores. Chamberlain pass to Filipina. Ducks between a couple of players. Layup doesn't go, gets it back, puts it up and in. A lot of times on the perimeter at this point in the game. It'll open things up on the perimeter if they do that. Ten footer doesn't go for Sherrod. Another offensive rebound for Colorado. Fifteen footer. Short corner doesn't go. Rattles around and Che comes down with it. And more bucket. She'll have another double double. Eight points, ten rebounds now for Big Philly. Back now eleven rebounds for Che. All the way down the right of the lane, Gray. And it's out of bounds to the Ducks. Lateral movement, getting in front of that, taking that ball away. Che against Vonley. Turn around, doesn't go. Rebound, Rambus puts it back up. She's fouled. That's four fouls on Frida Foreman. She comes out. Maddie Nolan, the Michigan transfer, comes in. Ray around the Che pick, takes it in. Nice little slalom into the lane, doesn't go. Put back up by Che, and it's good. Another double double. Her conference leading 14th of the year. 10 points and 12 rebounds for Filipina Che. Well, a great take by Chance Gray. Again, finding the gap and an even better follow by Philly. Out of bounds. And it'll go to the Ducks. Turnover on Colorado. You chip away and you get good offensive possessions and get some stops. You're right back in it. With three minutes to go, you get this within six or seven, you got a chance. Ducks have trailed by as many as 21. They had only three points in the second quarter. Went without a field goal the entire quarter. Vance Luton puts it up, rattles in. It's a 12-point game. Mid-range shot put up by Nolan. Boy, Weta had position but couldn't come down with a rebound and ended up in Che's hands, who already has a double-double, points and rebounds. Chamberlain put her in the popcorn machine, and it's good. we got a nine-point game. Did she bank it in from the corner? It did. It banked in. I mean, it was an up fake. Everybody in the gym thought she traveled but got the shot off and kissed it off the glass from the corner. That's a tough angle. I don't know that I've ever seen a bank shot from the corner. Eight-nothing run for the Ducks. They're within nine. They trail by as many as 21. Crossover by Sadler. Floats it up over Che. Rambus the rebound. Swings the elbows to clear some room. Foul called against Tamiya Sadler. Well, we'll get to take a look at it here. She does a good job of keeping her left foot on the ground. And then, yes, that thing came off high right off the, off the box right there. So first foul on Tamiya Sadler. Frida Foreman checks back in, playing with four fouls. Kennedy Basham on the bench for the Ducks with four fouls. Shea sets the pick for Van Sluten. Floats it up from 14. It's good. We'll go look now. Ducks are within six. Jump hook good by Vonley. Good answer by Aaronette Vonley. Great answer. Just the poise of Vonley. You can see the veteran... Buffs needed a bucket there, and she delivered. Like a nine-point game, 50-41, and it's good for Van Sluten. Well, Van Sluten is feeling it right now, and she is coming off that on ball, ready to pull the trigger, and that is her bread and butter, that mid-range jumper. Back to a seven-point game, and the Ducks get a stop. Another whistle and a foul. Colorado will have it in bounds, leading it by just seven. Again, they've led by as many as 21. Foreman for three. Rattles out. Rebound, Che. Colorado three of 15 on threes. Ducks one of 11. Will credit the Ducks' poise and defensive effort right here in this second half, getting themselves back in the game. And there's Gray to the rim. Che, offensive rebound. Van Sluten for three. Back of the rim, no good. Weta comes down with it. Two chances for the Ducks to cut the lead 
Even slimmer. Well, that might have brought the house down. Good, good hands. Unfortunate deflection there. Didn't get it back. Foreman puts it up and in. Good ball movement by Colorado. They were lucky to get that ball back, as you mentioned. And they have a nine-point lead. Well, and Sadler just did a nice job of penetrating and finding her on for the finish. Foreman's got four points. Van Sluten on the drive and lost it. Weta with Foreman on her left all the way. Scoops it up. Not good. Chamberlain the rebound. Ducks dodged the bullet. But Colorado gets it back. Sadler puts it up and in. And one. Oh, what a turn of events for Colorado. Yeah, two turnovers there by the Ducks. You know, going in transition, and then you'll get a chance to get it back, and Chamberlain gets it swiped away, brings it down, puts it directly on the ground, and then Sather, great hands and a finish, and then gets hit in the head and goes to the free throw line for the old-fashioned end one. That's unfortunate, and you have a chance to get within six and two turnovers and score at the other end. Tamia Sadler is such a tougher player than she used to be. Scrappy. Yeah. Bray goes around the Che pick, puts it up from 17, doesn't go, rebound Foreman. Colorado about a nine point lead and the ball. Just over three minutes remaining here in Eugene. Sarah Rose Smith, now to Foreman, and she cans it. Free to Foreman, coming up big here in the fourth quarter. Four of her six points in this quarter. Ducks played without Grace Van Sluten in the loss to Utah on Friday. Playing a lot without the true freshman Sophia Bell in this one. Makes the first. Well, you Again, go back to Che, you know, you're talking about her second half performance. Eight points, 11 rebounds in this half. That's a pretty good good contribution right there. Yeah, at a time when the Ducks needed it because yeah. they were lost in that second quarter. Ten points now for Gray. Just over two minutes to go. 11-point lead for Colorado. Crowd staying into it here in Eugene. Love their ducks. Three-pointer good for Foreman. Just the fourth three-pointer of the game for Colorado. Foreman's first in five tries. And that is the dagger, isn't it? 14-point yeah. lead. Uh, in a matter of time until that one was going to go. Just a great three-point shooter. Gray from three. It's going to be short. So 14-point lead for Colorado and the ball with under 90 seconds to go. Ducks made a run here in the second half. Cut it down to six points, I believe. Yes. Another three-pointer by Gray. Finally, she's got it. Chance Gray, her first three-pointer in four tries. The Ducks second in 14. Chance has 13 points. 11-point Colorado lead with just over a minute to go. Expect Colorado to use a little bit of clock on this possession. Offensive rebound for Vonley. Che falls to the floor. Vonley puts it in. She has 16 points. Second chance points. 11 to 8 in favor of Colorado. Ducks a lot of second chance points here in the second half. Absolutely. And you look at the bench production. 21 to 3 in favor of Colorado. Just not a lot of depth on this Duck squad. Williams 3 hoisted up. Doesn't go. And Charlotte Whitaker, her third rebound of the game to go along with 8 points. Colorado will improve to 7-2 and two in conference play, 17-3 and three overall. There are the Ducks who drop their fourth straight fall to 2-7 and seven of the Pac-12, 11-11 overall. Another rebound for Che to add to her total, 12 points, 17 rebounds now. Williams three-pointer, no good. And that is that 61-48 win for Colorado. They led by 20 at halftime. They end up winning it by 13. Yeah, I thought, you know, like you said, the Oregon Ducks made a great effort.